Okay, let's do our warm ups and get started. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips over your ankles, shoulders over your hips, and crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale tension. And just focus inward. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Stretch out those fingertips and reach out through the crown. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep those elbows up. And bring your hands out, straight in front of you, shoulders still down. Clasp your hands behind you and press the fingers toward the floor as you lift your heart, feel the back bend. And then pivot at your hips coming over. Head down toward your legs, sitting bones up. Move your chin around, let your neck release. Hands toward your head for that shoulder release. And don't forget to breathe. Bend your knees slightly. Work your way back up from the bottom of the spine. Again, into the back bend. Stretch your head back. And don't forget to breathe. You have that chest opening and the spine lengthening. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that circulation increase. And again, inhale to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position up. Lift your heart up as your hands go down and your head goes back. Pivot over and again, just hang, letting everything stretch a little bit more. Hands toward your head, get those shoulders moving. And on the way up, keep those knees slightly bent and the chin in just a little bit until you get into that upper body back bend. And again, just take a moment there, lifting your heart, breathing. Inhale upright and release. Just feel your spine a little bit more activated. Side stretches next. So let's keep one arm down and the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling and hand above your shoulder. Stretch the hands away. Feel that lengthening through the ribs. Lean no twist over to the side. So don't lean forward. Make sure you're facing hips and shoulders to the front. Reach out through your hand and head and down into that foot you're leaning away from. Feel the O lengthening. And then inhale up and release. Feel the difference on the two sides. So bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Again, pushing the hands away, leaning no twist. And let that side open. Arm by your ear, fingertips going down toward your leg, and the other hand out. Push the foot down that you're leaning away from for that side opening. And don't forget to move. And again, inhale to the top and release. Feel your hips, feel your ribs, feel your sides a little bit more activated. Spread your toes, get that spine open for our twist, and bring your arms to shoulder level. Palms up, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, spread your toes, sitting them away from your crown, and twist to one side. Take a breath, and exhale over. Stay in your twist, just relaxing, arms by your ears. Weight up both feet as evenly as you can. Lift the sitting bones. Feel your whole body in that twist. And staying in your twist, work your way all the way up and into the upper body only for your back bend. Arms coming next to your ears, pulling back and chest high. Take a moment and breathe in that upper body back bend. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms, getting things balanced. And again, stretch the spine apart and twist to the opposite side. Another breath. 
and exhale over. And just deepen as far as you'd like to go on this side. Take a moment, relaxing, lifting your sitting bones. Keep the weight on both feet. And again, staying in your twist, work your way up, upper body back, bend forward. Chest high, shoulders down, elbows back. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale up. Exhale around to the center. Arms extended in a mountain pose. And then swan dive forward. Pivot at the hips, get everything parallel to the floor, stretching it out, and then just drop into your rag doll and let everything loose. Pulling a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, if you like that back stretch. And then with the leg, arms back to the front, knees slightly bent, we'll work your way back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, feel your body, a little bit more activated, getting ready for yoga. Let's step wide. Toes to the front, knees and toes, hips and shoulders, everything facing forward. Sitting bones down, put the thumbs in that hip crease right at the top of your thighs, and then push your sitting bones slightly back, lead with your heart, and come parallel to the floor. Stretch it out long, spread your toes, get the weight evenly into both feet, slide your hands down towards your ankles, and just let your body be parallel to the floor as much as it wants to be. Knees as straight as they want to be, sitting bones pushing back and the crown forward, everything nice and straight. And then bring your hands, fingertips toward the back, Come and walk further back with the hands. Pivot your body at the hips, pivoting a little deeper into that forward position. Feel your legs getting a little more stretch on those inner thighs. Lift the sitting bones maybe a little bit. And then turn the hands to the front, right under your shoulders. And again, stretch everything well. So fingertips down, palms down, or use a book or block to raise the floor if you need to. And just keep the right hand down, bring the left arm out, and follow it up toward the ceiling. Keep that spine stretching apart so it can twist going into that opening. Sitting bones and crowns stretch apart, and just keep looking up toward that hand in the air, turning your whole body toward the side. And then exhale, hand back down and under your shoulder. And again, stretch it out and do the other side. Hand out to the side, follow it up, turning your whole body to the side for your choice. Take a moment and breathe, stretching hips and crown away from each other. And again, follow the hand back down and to the floor. Hands to your ankles and slide all the way up into wide leg standing position. Take a moment feeling your spine a little bit more activated. And we're going to do our pyramid. So we're going to move the feet and the body and turn all the way to the side. So turn your one foot 90 degrees and then heel back and toes forward on the other foot and pull the back hip all the way around so that you're facing that first foot you turn. So the hips are parallel, the shoulders are parallel, everything facing that side of you. Spread your toes, keep the legs straight and bring your hands either to prayer position behind you or just cross at the lower back, passing your elbows. Lead with your heart for pivoting at the hip joint right at the top of that front thigh and bringing your body parallel to the floor. So just come as deeply into that as your body would like. Keep the knees as straight as you can. Just look down toward that front foot. And again, stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Take a moment and breathe. You can pivot as deeply into that as you'd like, bringing your body 
parallel with that front leg if that works for you, or just stay parallel to the floor. Take a breath. Keep those hips even, shoulders even, and sink evenly into the feet. So that back heel is really pushing down little bit, little toe side of your foot, evenly sinking into that knee. And then inhale, pivoting up. Release your arms, turn the feet to the front, back into your wide leg position. Getting ready, of course, to balance our body and pyramid to the opposite side. So again, sinking into your feet, up through the crown. Feel that whole body activating through the core, shoulders relaxing, and beginning with your feet. Turn the foot 90 degrees along the side of the mat. Heel back, toes forward on that back foot. Turn the whole way. Remember that knee and toes going always the same way. Back hip coming all the way around, front hip pulling back. So you can keep those thumbs in those hip creases to help indicate where you are. And when you're ready, bring your hands either to prayer position behind your shoulder blades or clasp at your elbows. Take a breath. <clears throat> Exhale. Pivot at your hips. And again, come down looking at that front foot. Knees are straight. Weight into both feet evenly. Get those base of the toes, balls of the foot area really connecting. The toes themselves spreading out. The sitting bones going back and the crown stretching away, keeping that whole upper body nice and open through the whole spine. Take a moment to breathe, sink evenly into the feet, stretch that spine apart, and don't forget to breathe. And again, looking at your foot, stretching everything apart, inhale your way back up, releasing your arms, and turning your feet forward. Take a moment to breathe as you get back into that position, and then step into Mountain pose. Take a moment feeling your spine a little bit more activated. Notice the hips a little bit more open. Notice your legs a little bit more activated as well. And bring your hands to your heart. Look at your fingers. Inhale and bring them toward the ceiling. And of course, a back bend, pulling your thumbs back, looking at them as you lift your heart, stretch the top of your head back. But remember, don't lift your chin too high. You want to keep stretching your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over, right there at those hips, dropping into ragdoll. And again, just hang, lifting the sitting bones, letting those arms reach toward the floor as far as they want to go. Pull in deeper with the hands behind your legs. Get a good stretch on the back of your body. And bring the hands to the front. Slide them up under your knees and come into your halfway up stretch. Lengthen the spine, sitting bones and crown away, body parallel to the floor. Elbows, knees, and spine all straight and stretching open. Exhale down. Tuck in your chin, palms together. Let's do that again. Hands to your heart, going toward the ceiling. And another upper body back and lifting your heart. Take a moment there. Just feel your whole spine lengthening. And exhale again all the way over. Just drop into ragdoll. Slide up into your halfway up stretch, lengthening everything. And then bending your knees, come all the way to our child pose. Transition to the floor. Hands, palms up near your feet, forehead toward the front, and shoulders relaxing down. Just deepen as much into that as you like. Remember, if your knees are really tight, you can pad between your calves and thighs or hips and heels. And don't forget to breathe. Let those lungs get as much oxygen as possible. And then inhaling, sit up. Slide off and come into, let's come into a wide leg position. So sitting bones behind you, legs out to the sides as much as they want to go. And remember, personal practice, do what's right, don't overdo. 
Press out through your heels, pull your toes back, knees straight up toward the ceiling. The sitting bones are slightly behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need a little bit of pelvic opening there. And <clears throat> shoulders right above your hips, crown up toward the ceiling. Let the shoulders relax back and down and the crown up. So take a moment, <clears throat> feel those inner thighs getting a little stretch. And don't forget to breathe. Bring your hands next to you on the floor. <clears throat> And then bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, we're going to sink the hands down to your shoulders. <clears throat> sink all the way into the sitting bones and then stretch way up. So the shoulders, shoulder blades stay toward your waist even while you're stretching your hands and head up. I know it's challenging. Exhale again down. We're going to really stretch up. And then as you exhale, we're going to turn toward one foot. And again, bring your hands up, stretching from the sitting bones out through the crown. And exhale again. Inhale and stretch. This time as you exhale, pivot at that hip joint at the front of that thigh and reach for your foot. <clears throat> so your hands may come to your leg or the floor or your foot, wherever they want to go. Chin toward your knee, knee coming toward your thighs so that that back of the leg can keep stretching along the mat. This back hip may be up a little bit as you turn, that's okay. Make sure your whole body is turning toward that. Stretch it out, crown toward your toes, toes coming back. And again, lift your crown, stretch your spine nice and open. And then as you exhale, Bring your chest closer toward your leg, if that works. Now we're going to go into a little twist more. So bring your elbow inside that knee, hold your ankle or your leg, and bring the other arm out to the side. So your whole body now is facing forward, and we're bringing the arm up and over by the ear. And the whole side of your head is reaching down toward your leg, and the top of your head toward your toes as those toes pull back. And the hand is reaching toward your toes as well. So go as deeply into that as you want. Your arm may be up in the air, that's okay. You never have to reach to the foot. Remember, don't lean forward, but keep that side of your body up toward the ceiling. Arm right next to your ear, hand reaching toward your toes. And you can leverage with that arm on your knee a little bit to pull yourself deeper into the twist if you love it. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then lead with that hand in the air, pulling yourself all the way back up and release. So feel your body, it's going to be different. So yeah, we need to balance things and go to the other side. So once again, starting in your position, pushing those heels out, pulling those toes back, getting the backs of your legs as much down toward the mat as feels comfortable for you, hands next to your sides. Sitting bones behind you, crown reaching up, shoulders relaxing, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. And again, we're going to exhale, hands down, all the way to the shoulders, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, from the sitting bones, stretch way up through the fingers and the head. But remember, keep those shoulders relaxing back and down. Exhale and sink. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and turn. So we're turning to the side and the other way. And again, stretch up as you inhale. Sink down as you exhale. Once more, stretching up. Keep the arms by your ears, chin leading toward the leg, and hands toward your toes. And again, this back hip may come up as you turn to that side, coming all the way down into that pivot. So you're pivoting at the top of the thigh, right at that hip joint, and toward your knee, knee pulling up. Remember, stretching the back of your leg along the mat as much as it wants. Hands along your ears, reaching toward your foot or leg or you can bring them down if you need to. And again, just keep stretching it out. 
Exhale. Keep both heels pressing out, both toes pulling back. And again, lift your head, stretch your spine open and long. Exhale, chest leading back down toward your leg. And again, just maximize into your position as much as it wants. Breathing and relaxing, getting ready to twist. So stretch the spine apart. Bring your elbow inside your knee, hand on your leg or your ankle. Bring the other arm out to the side. So breathe, palm up and bring the hand up and over next to your ear. Whole body facing forward as you're parallel to that leg that you're moving toward. And again, the hip may be up as you lean over into that stretch toward your foot. So the hand is going toward your toes, the toes are pulling back, your head and face are facing the front chest and shoulders as well. This arm in the air, this shoulder is above the other shoulder as you're in that twist. So deepen as much into it as you like. Stretch it out. Exhale and deepen, hand reaching further toward that foot if that works. It may be up in the air, it may be down toward your toes. Either way is so fine. Take a breath, stretch the head and hands toward the side. And then on an inhalation, bring the hand in the air up, pivoting your body, stretching out, bringing the hands to your sides. Feel your body a little bit more evened out, hopefully. Bend your knees, bring them in, and into staff position. Heels pressing in, sitting bones back, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. Just allow your body to activate through the core for support, up through the crown, and don't forget to breathe. And then let's bring the bottoms of your feet together into butterfly. Knees out toward the sides. We know we didn't open those hips as much as we usually do on the floor, so the knees may be up quite a bit more than usual, but that's okay. So bottoms of the feet together, pulling in, heels toward your hips. Ground toward the ceiling, core of course activated. And then bring your hands one at a time behind you, right under your shoulders. Press into the fingertips or palms, whatever works for you. And feel that lengthening through your midsection. Feel those maybe inner thighs release a little bit more. Kind of move the bottoms of the feet up toward the ceiling as those knees come maybe down a little further toward the floor. But remember, personal practice, what's right for your body only doing what is appropriate for you. Lift that heart, drop the shoulder blades, crown reaching to the ceiling, and just feel that whole upper body opening and a little bit of a back bend as you're in that butterfly. Take a moment and breathe. Feel the whole body relax even deeper into that position. And then releasing the hands back to the front, Slide the feet out a little bit, lift your knees, and bring the legs back out to the center. So staff position, let's shift those feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind your core active to support your body as you slowly lower to the floor. As you get all the way down, just let your body totally relax into that surface beneath you. And let's get ready for our final twist of the day. So bring your arms to T position, palms up, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your right leg, foot on the left side, doing our bent knee twist. This is going to be for the lower back especially. Roll over to the left side, keep your head down, bring your knee all the way down, hands together in front of you all the way onto your left side. Left hand on the right knee, holding it on the floor for that lower back twist, and a right arm above your shoulder. Keep the palm open at shoulder level, bringing it back behind you as you look at that hand, lowering it toward the floor into your twist. So the hand may be up in the air, that's okay. Gravity will bring you when you're ready in your spine. Knee on the floor for that lower back twist. If that's too much, remember you can pad 
and raise that knee slightly. Head turning, neck area twist. Remember, always personal practice, what's right for your body only. And let the hand come as far toward the floor, shoulder down as much as it wants into that middle back twist when you're ready. Take a few breaths. The more you emphasize those exhalations, the more that spine releases into your twist. Let it happen, but never force it. Take a breath, just completely relaxing. And of course, you'll want to hold those on your own longer, but for now, just let go of your leg, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, and get ready to twist to the opposite side. Again, just allowing your body to soften and sink, hands, palms up, straight out from your shoulders, feet hip width apart. Sitting bones slightly toward your heels and bend your left leg. Bring that foot to the right thigh. Rolling all the way to the right side this time. Keep that head down. Don't over work your neck. <clears throat> Knee coming down to the floor. Hands starting in front of you. And then holding the right hand on the left knee and the left hand right above your shoulder. Keep that palm open to the ceiling. Looking at it as you lower the body into it. And again, the hand may not make it to the floor, don't worry, just do what's right for you. Knee down as much as you like for that lower back twist, head turning for your neck, and just let gravity do the work bringing the hand to the floor when your body's ready for that middle back twist. Take a breath. Exhaling, just emphasizing those releases all through the vertebrae. Letting that spine deepen into its twist whenever it's ready. Always breathing and relaxing. And of course, hold it on your own longer, but for now, just let go of your knee, rolling onto your back, sliding down, toes together, hands, palms up away from your hips, shoulders down to the floor, Lift your chin, and then just let your head relax completely. Let your whole body release, toes slightly separating, coming into your relaxation posture. Deepening as much as you like. If that lower back is ever too much, you can always pad under your knees, bending your knees, giving your back a little bit more release in that position. Take a moment to breathe. Letting your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. And just allow your whole body to deepen into the earth embrace, softening into that support completely. Let your body relax. Lots of leg and torso work today. So let that midsection just release even more. And as your body completely softens into that earth support, just let it go. And as you relax your body, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Floating in and floating out without attention. And just let your awareness release the content of any thoughts, forgetting the past, releasing the future, letting the thoughts drift away, allowing your awareness to release your body and your mind. Follow that awareness inward to the peace within, and fill your awareness, fill your body, fill your mind, only with peace.
And of course, if you're relaxation today feels especially good, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely whenever you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, draw your knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around, let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head back into the floor, roll to the side, and sit back down, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.